You can just, you know, say your name and just share whatever you're grateful for. Um, Hank Sinatra. Uh, my kids were everything to me. I mean, uh, all five of them. Watching them grow up was probably the happiest days of my life. And I tried to spend every moment I could with them. A lot of things I wish I could do again, but we would do things like we'd buy a season passes to Six Flags, and then we'd go to St. Louis, we'd go to Louisville, we'd New Jersey, we wanted to ride all the roller coasters. And that was, uh, that was how we entertained our, in the water slide, the water parks. Uh, we moved them out into the, the country area there. Our home was surrounded by a thousand acre farms. Only because the public school system in Nashville was substandard. So we wanted to have all the benefits and possibilities that they might miss. Don't know if it's the right thing because they were often not very happy about it. But they grew up good children. Mm -hmm. I have one that's missing. He's been missing for eight years. He had a full ride to the UK on academics. He never got to go. So what are, what are your kids' names? Jared is the oldest. Then there's Justin, and there's Brittany, and there's Matthew, and then there's Jasmine. Beautiful. My wife's name is Lisa. She works for AT&T. Right there in Nashville. The Bat Building, you ever see it? No, I haven't. The tallest building in Tennessee. Oh, wow. She's on the 25th floor. <laughs> she does the government account. And you've, uh, you're in remission right now, you were saying earlier. So you... Uh, the tumor has actually shrank a minuscule amount, but it's not growing anymore. Uh, pain is still kind of there. Only, only when I try to get comfortable, you know? <laughs> Laying down. Yeah. But, uh, it doesn't hit me with those waves. They used to come in waves. I mean, it's like standing on a railroad track. Feel it coming mm -hmm. when it hits you. And of course, they wanted me to take all kind of pills. And there's just no way out here, you know. Mm -hmm. I'd have to be laid down in somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I basically didn't take the pills, didn't take the chemo, didn't take the radiation. In fact, I wadded up the whole ball of paperwork, dropped it in his wastebasket on the way out the door. I was in disbelief and shock, whatever. Cancer, you know, it takes so many people. My dad died of cancer, lung cancer, but he smoked for 50 years, you know. I never did smoke until I got cancer. <laughs> I got cancer and they said, well, I think I'm going to start smoking now. That's what I always wanted to do. When I was in the Army, they, I went to this thing they called NUWAX. Mm -hmm. It's a nuclear weapons accident exercise. Mm -hmm. It's out there in the Nevada test site. Well, you know, they've had over 200 above ground explosions out there. And the only thing that grows out there is sand. <laughs> so uh, I'm pretty sure the, the cancer came from there because it pops up all over me. Mm -hmm. I get it there, I get on my face, on my arms. It seems like every time I have one removed, another one pop up. Mm -hmm. But there's no other problem with cancer in my family. Mm -hmm. I 
probably should make the VA pay, but I don't know, hard headed and nah. stubborn, I guess. Thinking I can make it on my own, which so far I am. But uh, I'm grateful to the people here that have been friendly for the most part. The town of Berkeley itself is uh, very forgiving. There's a lot of laws in place here, city ordinances that aren't enforced. Like they have a no sit, no lie law. <laughs> One of the new ones they, they have, if you're carrying a backpack, a bag, mm -hmm. you can't sit it down for more than 30 minutes. Hmm, that's interesting. Is anybody enforcing that? No, not, not yet, yet, but they can. They don't have enough manpower. All right, they can. You know, if there's a problem, if you're a problem, they can pull all of it. Right, right. It's because of the ones that you talk from. Talk shit to the cops. Mm -hmm. There's the university police. Mm -hmm. And then there's the Berkeley police. And then there's the Alameda County. You know? Like the People's Park up there is owned by the university. Okay. Mm -hmm. So anything that happens in People's Park is handled by the university cops. Um, they'll run you out on the sidewalk, all of a sudden you're in Berkeley's jurisdiction. <laughs> so, yeah. They come in, the curfew is 10 o'clock, they run them out of the park, so they run out to the sidewalk. Crazy. At certain times of the night, you're just riding the bike, it's like 2 o'clock in the morning. It's so peaceful when the, the light comes through the trees, and you see the trees on the street. The sunset is unbelievable from the hill up there, looking at the Golden Gate. Where the Golden Gate is, is where the sun drops. Mm. And was, the Golden Gate was purple. Yeah. Unreal. I mean, if you could get up the hill before you go, do it. Mm -hmm. Be there at sunset. There's a bus that goes up there. It's a 65. Take you see what I said? We don't start around here. That's right. We got to get someone in the dance room. And I didn't want to accept the cookies anymore because I can't eat anything. So. Uh, okay. Well, yeah, that's a good place to be, right? <laughs> right. Berkeley uh, uh, has the reputation of being the most liberal city in America. Uh, a lot of people want to say that's communist. I don't see any politics at all in it, really. Mm -hmm. I just think it's a matter of tolerance. Mm -hmm. A lot of these older people here that, that live here, you know, that own homes here, that pay taxes here, they're all a whole bunch of acid hits from Haight Ashbury. <laughs> <laughs> so they're tolerant. Uh, it's when the people start causing problems. Right. A nuisance. And occasionally the San Francisco will run all their homeless people out for a couple of days and they all flood in here. <laughs> it's like a homeless refugee space. Almost. Yeah, we're competition now. <laughs> but you bring that mentality over here to get you caught up again, you start getting arrested. Mm -hmm. Santa Rita, which is the county jail here, is the third largest correctional institute in America. Really? Wow. I didn't know that. That's and they you don't stand play. in one end and the earth curves off before you see <laughs> Hey, they don't play. You leave a bullpen for 16 hours winged up. You don't sleep there because it's so loud all the time. You just can't sleep. That's why it don't cause trouble. Because you can't seem a little lenient out here or... I was there for one day, waiting on a transfer for my DUI case. Because I figured I'd be dead, so I didn't go to court. Right. But when I did die, I went ahead and turned myself in. Because I kept peeping out. Hint. I gotta be dead, you know. Here you are. 
life. Oh, am I dead? No. Who can really say? I'm alive. Yeah. You get to see that beautiful sunset over the same, off the bridge like you were talking about. That's wonderful. Yeah, I grew up here, spent a lot of time in the San Francisco Bay Area as a child. And then the first time I ever came to Berkeley was in 71. I think I was 15. Mm -hmm. Vietnam protest. They're really the park. They call it Ho Chi Minh Park then. Uh, time my dad was in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. He was over there three times. Wow. Three times out there, and here you are. He had a, he had a son, right? Wow. Here you are. That's amazing. Jeez, beat those odds. Basically, uh, my children were the brightest spot I can remember. I cherish the memories every day. My wife, she tolerated a lot of me. I still love her. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Hank. That was awesome, man.